Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we're in Brampton, Ontario. Pretty much my first time in Brampton, outside Tandoori Flame, Grand Indian Buffet. So this is actually the biggest buffet in North America, biggest Indian buffet in North America, and we're gonna go have some fun. We're gonna crush some plates, we're gonna eat some food. Um, I was at the sister location in Mississauga, which I thought was technically the biggest Indian Buffet North America because they advertise that as their whole brand like that, but it's technically this one that is the biggest. So let's go eat, let's have some fun, it's lunch time. Uh, it's about $19, uh, we have two hours, so let's go eat. Hi everyone, so here we are, we made it in. I'm super, super excited to be finally getting some Indian food. It's been a long time since I've had Indian food, um, and this is really good. So to start off, I got a few different items. I got some uh, tandoori chicken, one of my favorites. This was called a uh, different kind of chicken tikka. It was like a blonde chicken tikka. We then have the butter chicken right here. Um, so that's kind of that plate. And then I always start with some veggies. I got some what they call the broccoli salad. And then I also got what they call the uh, chickpea salad. So pretty much we'll just get started here. I'm excited. Let's get eating. So uh, hopefully you can hear me all right. And uh, let's eat. All right, so the broccoli salad is basically just like broccoli with coleslaw dressing. 152 is the time. So we should have a good hour and a half left. There's just some fresh tomatoes, fresh cucumbers. I also got a little bit of this, what they call a Russian salad. Which is cooked beans, carrots, peas, and corn. And like mayonnaise. Very interesting. Chickpea salad's good. Does smell like onions. A little bit like a curry aspect. A little curry, a little sweet. It is good though. I like the onions. Now for more traditional Indian items. So let's try this uh, blonde kind of chicken tikka. I've never had one like this before. It has a bit of like a creamy aspect to it. It's good though. Definitely like a buttery taste. That's what I put, like creamy buttery. I got some chicken tikka. Some chicken tikka, play with the light there. It is bone in. Oh, I love that like grill flavor on the kind of charcoal flavor. Nice and spicy. I'm no shame using my hands. That was good. I like it. All right. This is what they straight up call chicken curry. Just chicken curry. It's definitely more of a lighter flavor. Good spice to it. Definitely get a curry flavor. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Woo! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Everybody, that butter chicken. Oh my dear lord. So it looks like I'm close. Not as good. Okay. This is amazing. This is way better than I remember being. Boneless chicken pieces. I'm getting so much cream in that. The spices are perfect. Mm. Oh man, that was amazing. That was amazing. We're gonna be having some fun here today. So that was round one, let's go hit round two. All right, so here we got round two. Um, lots of goat in round two. So I figured I would get a bit more of the vegetables. I got some more of the broccoli salad. I got some more of the chickpea salad. And then I have some of the soy, this is called a uh, soy, like mala soy chab. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. And then we have uh, basically what was a cauliflower dish, which looked really good. We had then the um, goat sage, S-A-A-G. 
Then we had um, some more of the butter chicken here. And right here as well is the uh, curry goat. So I wanted to try the different goat items here. Um, so round two, round of the goat. That's what we'll, that's what, how I'll classify this. So let's try it out. So we'll start with the curry goat. Definitely tastes like goat. If you're not familiar with goat tastes like, it's like kind of lamby, kind of gamey in a way. It is good though. It is very good. So I knew what to expect for the curry goat, but for the Saj goat, I'm not really sure, I wasn't really sure what to expect, so let us give it a try. So there are some bones. It's a lot sweeter than the curry goat. Very light in flavor. So it really just like highlights the goat. It was actually really good. I like that. So that was good. I'll put that away for a sec. Come around. This is also round two. We're getting that done. I'll try this um, the soy chop. Soy chop. Mm. This isn't like. What is the consistency of like an Alfredo sauce? But interestingly enough, there's some different, very strong flavor in that. I'm not sure what that flavor is. Maybe cardamom. Um, it almost reminds me of a little bit of the goat flavor. Interesting enough. Like the sage. I do love vegetables. And even if it's just broccoli and coleslaw dressing, I still like it. There's some more of the chickpea salad, of course. I do hope to get some more water here. While well, I wait for that. Let's try this cauliflower dish. And this is potatoes in here as well. Cauliflower and potatoes. This is like a vegetarian dish. Definitely just lots of curry flavor. Heavy curry. Lots of spices. Really reminds me of... Kind of like a... Masala in a way, but just lots and lots and lots of mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh man, that butter chicken. That butter chicken speaks to my soul, everybody. Beautiful, steamy, hot, delicious butter chicken. And the fact that it's boneless, I really like that. Um, what I will say is some people, of course, in a lot of more traditionally, they eat the butter chicken on rice or some of the non breads. I'm not the biggest rice person, but I think there's more non breads here. Too good. So round two, let's go round three. All right, so back with round three, you know what we got. So they actually gave us a mango drink. This is called a Mumbai Mango. Ooh, that's fresh. Mint, mango, very delicious. Did get some more water, excited about that. All right, so what we got going on here? Of course, you know how to do it. Had to get some more of that delicious butter chicken. I did get a naan bread. Yes, guys, I got a piece of naan bread. I know everybody wants me to dip these sauces, these delicious curries and everything in the naan bread, eat it with it, so that's what we're doing. And then I also got um, a Pollock paneer, which is the green one. Paneer is a kind of cheese. I got a chickpea masala. I also got a mushroom masala, which looks pretty interesting, looks very good. And then I got some more of the cucumbers and my kind of broccoli salad because that's just what we've been doing. So let's continue to get through this. Uh, I'll start with maybe, mm, well here, I'll get rid of some of this broccoli. I'm gonna try this paneer, a very green. Block of cheese. Mm. Nice flavor. Really light. You get the really texture of that cheese, and then. It's not even like cilantro, but. It's kind of like, yeah, a little pesto cilantro maybe. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna just. Chickpea masala, strong flavored. 
Very strong flavor compared to that paneer. Mushroom masala. There's peppers and onions and everything in there. Quite a bit of heat, spice. But man, that is good too. That mushroom masala, woo, it is sweet. Super warm spices, but very sweet. Very, 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 very sweet. And that's not a bad thing. Those are basically like a vegetarian plate there. Um, all right, butter chicken, non bread. Mm. Oh man, I got it. Love that butter chicken. The non bread they actually make here. We have a guy doing it like in like a pit. And um, I got look, I dipped it in like everybody. So they're super buttery. You get them fresh. Some are crispier than others. But I will give it. That is a good combo. One thing is for sure, they definitely don't skimp on like the cream. These are some rich food items. That guy was doing up a plate of that blonde chicken tikka I had earlier. And literally, I kid you not, who's just pouring straight heavy cream in there. All right, that was round, I don't even know, I think three, maybe, but uh, we'll carry on. All right, here we are, guys. We're talking round four. I think it's four. Anyway, whatever it is. Got some different items. Of course, got some more similar items as well, because I'm just sort of really enjoying some. Um, but okay, I got some more of the, I uh, got a piece of the tandoori chicken again. Got some more of the, what I'm calling blonde or malakali, uh, what is it? Malaitika. Malaitika? Yeah, tikka. Yeah, tikka, perfect. Or tikka, Yeah, malaitika. like chicken tikka, right? Yeah, chicken tikka, malaitika. Like malaitika. Yeah, this is the chicken malaitika. Chicken malaitika, I like it. Then have the chicken malaitika, malaitika chicken, um, which again is kind of the blonde chicken tikka uh, with the cream sauce on it. I got some big piles, some more of that delicious, delicious um, mushroom masala. I really enjoyed that. And then I got uh, two different kinds of paneers. I got a paneer tikka and a paneer which was, um, I think it was called again mal malaki or makali, uh, which was uh, like roasted peppers, um, tomato sauce, cream, um, and paneer. So, delicious looking. Let's try that paneer first. Man, those roasted peppers are so delicious. That tastes surprisingly a lot like butter chicken. So compared, I just compare that to butter chicken. So the pinu chica. Pinu is not bad. It's like a lot of curry flavor. Tandoori chicken, a good favorite. Yeah, such a nice spice on that. Like I said, you get those very traditional, awesome tasting Indian spices, and then you get the lovely, lovely grill flavor, like charcoal. Blonde chicken tikka. It's good. The way I would describe this mostly is like chicken and a cream sauce. Compared to the like vast majority of the different flavors, it definitely is some of the mildest taste and flavor. Then of course, got the monstrous plate of butter chicken. This has a new tray. And I don't know if you can see, some of these pieces are giant. Look, my face, that big. I'm down with it, guys. I'm down with it. Carol's Whisper Moment. And to get it on bread, guys. Good crunch on that one.
round four. All right, so we're back. Risk is to be maybe round five, maybe? I don't know, something like that. You guys can probably keep a better track than I am. Um, I want to switch it up. So I got some fruits. They have some good looking fruits. So I got some cantaloupe. I got some honeydew melon. I got a variety of grapes. They had like green grapes, red grapes, black grapes mixed up. And then I got some watermelon. Then, of course, I went for the traditional big plate of now butter chicken. Again, the pieces are huge. And yes, I got a piece of naan bread. For all you people, let's say you need to eat it with naan bread or rice or whatever. And I understand, yes, you normally eat it over rice, but this is delicious, so let's keep that up. You know, it's actually a really watermelon. And some of the sweet is nice. After all these heavy, heavy, savory dishes. Honeydew? Mm -hmm. Not bad. Cantaloupe's not super ripe, but that's all part of it. Butter chicken. Every time. Woo! That gets me every time. All right, that was round five. Let's go round six. All right, we are round, I think, six. I've kind of lost count. I'm, uh, you know, you guys know what it is. I think it's round six anyway. Uh, I went with some more fruit, some more uh, basically watermelon. I think watermelon was the best, but I also got some honeydew, a little bit of cantaloupe, some grapes. Then on this, I, uh, as much as I'm loving the butter chicken, there's a lot of it, but I did get a little more of the butter chicken. I also got some of the just what they call the chicken curry. Chicken curry and a piece of naan bread. Not long after this, I think we're going to be switching over, probably some more uh, dessert or sweeter items, I'll put it that way. So in regards to time, because I actually don't even know what time it is, curious myself, it is 2.55. So, we meet now for an hour and 10 minutes, I think. Oof. I'm not gonna lie, filling out a lot of food. It's very good, it's a lot of food, so chicken curry. Definitely not as rich as like the butter chicken. But great flavor on it. Great curry flavor. As full as I am, oh, the sweet is about in it. That butter chicken still tastes amazing. It is damn good. By far my favorite item today, and definitely one of my favorite last time. But I feel last time I had some um, more traditional chicken tikka. Round six. Food drunk is the word for me right now. Let's go for seven. Before I officially switch over to the more desserty desserts, like the real treats, sweets, etc., I decided to get one more plate of fruit. I was debating another thing of like butter chicken and stuff. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of feeling a little more of the sweets right now. 
I wouldn't be against another dish. It was very good. Even as full as I am, every time I had some of that, it was very, very good. Those people have the idea. They got like a plate, of, so there's a group of four of them, and they got a whole plate of like butter chicken, paneer, a whole plate of naan bread. So they're obviously gonna like family style it. I like that. Smart. All right, so I think that was round seven. The first round I only went one plate with, so for round eight, like I said, I think we're gonna officially switch over to the desserts. They're gonna be sweet, but I'm all right with that right now. So let's hit that and see how we go. Round eight. All right, so we finally made it to dessert. It is 3.10 p.m., so we do have 20 minutes left in the lunch buffet. So I have some glob jamun, which if you're not familiar, the best way I would describe it to somebody who's not familiar is kind of like a honey soaked donut, like donut hole kind of thing. Um, like syrup soaked, say honey, but syrup, they're really good. Um, and then I, I'm just so bad with the pronunciation, but we have a lovely uh, dessert made with carrots and it has some of this in it, which is almost like a grain to me, but it's like a sweet dessert grain. Again, comment down below guys. I'm so bad with the pronunciations. I would love to, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm learning, I'm learning, so teach me. But then I have these, which look to me like coconut covered glob jam. So let's try it. Woo! That is exactly what that is. But man, that is good. So these ones are cold, these ones are hot. So again, just to like demonstrate this. So drippy, like sugar soaked donut or dough. See that? See that dripping? Oh yeah, and they're hot. These ones are hot. Ooh, like, really hot. Man, that is good. Hella sweet though. Coconut one's good. I never saw this one before. Talk about a burst of, a burst of flavor. Try this dessert. Cardamom, kind of floral. There's like little bits of, uh, I want to say nut in it. It almost tastes like saffron, actually. Really nice. Sweet, but not overly sweet. All the carrots. Definitely rich, though. Nice and hot, literally. But it's very good, though. Really sweet. I'd say like the grain is the least sweet. This is the second most, and the glob jam is the most sweet. And I will say, shout out this Mumbai mango. Yeah, mint mango and everything in it. So right before I went up to the last round, I had a sip. It's gonna be like super sweet, 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 but. That is so refreshing. And like mango syrup, tastes like real mango. Apparently it's like your secret ingredient, secret recipe. It is very, very good. Very good. Ooh, guys, I don't know, I'm filling up though, I'll tell you that much. Definitely filling up. Oof. I mean, we've almost been eating for an hour and a half, so. Probably an hour and a half. It's 3.16 p.m. So I'll probably get, that was round eight. I'll probably get one more round dessert in. And not only will the buffet be over, but I'm gonna be done. So let's go for nine. All right, round nine, nueve. Okay, guys, I'm starting to die. I'm really full. But I got a little bit of ice cream. They have a hard ice cream station. Normally they have a soft serve ice cream, but it's out of order. I think got four of the coconut, 
blob jobbing at three of the normal ones. We're going hard. Besides the desserts I had, they also did have some like little like cakes and stuff, but they're obviously like store bought or purchased elsewhere. So the funny thing, the glob jam is so sweet that this ice cream doesn't even seem sweet. Three twenty-four. Five minutes. I guess we'll go for round ten. Don't do this at home, everybody. Don't do this. Everyone, legit, the last one. Not only because I'm about to die, but also because we're out of time. So we got three coconut glob jamun. Bit of ice cream, scoop of ice cream. So ten, ten rounds, everybody. Too much. Too much. Very good though. And while I'm at it, a huge shout out to everybody here. Hi everyone, so Tandoori Flame. Really enjoyed the experience. Been great people, great staff, great food. No complaints about that. So huge thanks to everybody here. If you're ever in Brampton, surrounding areas, GTA, definitely stop on by. They got no shortage of food, I'll tell you that much. So, and this is the lunch. Dinner, I don't know if it's a little bit more of a comprehensive menu. It's gonna happen in the other location at dinner. And I do feel it was a little bit more options, a few more options. So I'd say this is probably also a little more comprehensive or a few more options at dinner time. Uh, but that guys, like I said, great deal. Our total today, well, just for the buffet, was 2146 after tax, before tip. So, with that everyone, like I said, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you like this one. Uh, you guys have been asking for more Indian food. Happy to bring you some more Indian food videos. And uh, that's about it, guys. So until next time, I've already said that, so don't do what I do. And that, happy eating, have a lovely day.